So class 10, as we were reading the chapter, the proposal, so we have read in the chapter that finally, Natalia as well as Lamo, first of all, they were fighting on the issue of oxen meters. But now finally, when Natalia came to know that he has come to propose her for a marriage, there was complete change in her behavior. She admitted that oxen meters were his, of course, and because she knew that even after marriage, she would also be the owner of Oxen Meadow. So this shows the vanity, the show of behavior of people of the 19th century, that what kind of, you can say, behavior they, they display when they are going to, you can say, when they are going to be, uh, you can say, when they are going to get married or when they are seeking a match for, appropriate match for, in order to marry, okay? But after that, what happened? Then suddenly what happened that um, you can say Lomo, he has started about, he has started talking about his dog guest. And ultimately there was a fight between both of them upon the superiority of the breeds of both the dogs. So they were thinking that their dogs were of course better one. Each one of them was thinking that their dogs were better as Natalia thought that her squeezer is the best one as she has purchased it for a low amount of 85 rubles. And, but according to Lamont's experience, he thought that, of course, it is a greater amount for this kind of dog as it was an overshot. Moreover, after that also, uh, Natalia, she was also not of the opinion that this that Lamont's dog, guess is better. Okay, why he was not of the opinion? He thought that, that it was, of course, not a good dog as he did not know how to hunt and he lagged behind during the Marinsky hunt, okay? And he said that his dog, Guess, was running neck to neck with the Count's dog, but Squeezer, their Squeezer was left quite behind, okay? So they were also taking out various faults of dogs of each other that one is, one is having short muzzle and ultimately in this manner, they again had a fight. So you know that Lamo is not able to withstand this kind of difficult situation because of palpitation, because increased flow of blood. He felt anxious. He had the problem of anxiety. And it is because of this reason that he felt really, you can say, loss of his wits as well as temper that he's unable to control himself. Okay. So... Uh, in order to just relate it with the previous lecture, I'm starting from here. And with good reason, the dogs are running after a fox when Squeezer goes and starts worrying a sheep. So what he said, he said that when the dog during the Morensky hunt with the Count's dog, all the dogs were running after foxes and your Squeezer, it was following a sheep. Chubukov, it's not true, my dear fellow. I'm very liable to lose my temper. This we have read yesterday also. He said that whatever you are saying is not true. And in this kind of situation, I'm definitely going to lose my temper because of that. Let's stop arguing that we should stop arguing with each other. Otherwise, it will give far, you can say, worse results. You started because everybody is always jealous of everybody else's dog. Yes, we are like that. You too, sir, aren't blameless. He said that this is the, the nature of people, that they are, of course, you can say, they are, of course, jealous of others' dogs. They never feel like that others' dogs are better. You no know, sooner begin with this, that, the other, and all that, I remember everything. So, <coughs> Lomo, I remember too. Chubukov, I remember too. What do you remember? The more my heart, my foot's gone to sleep, I can't. So now again, the same problem of palpitation that he's not able to control himself. Now, Natalia, my heart, what sort of hunter are you? You ought to go out and lie on the kitchen oven and catch black beetles and not go after foxes, my heart. Now she's again abusing him. Okay, see how short-tempered Natalia is that she's easily getting into this kind of, you can say, Abuse, uh, use, use of abusive language that she's saying to Lamo, and the other time she's going to get married with him. Okay, so Chubukov, yes, really, what sort of a hunter are you anyway? 
you ought to sit at home with your palpitations he said what kind of hunter you are you are not a hunter if you have such a weak heart that you are suffering from palpitations it's better that you should sit at home and not go tracking animals you don't have any you can say courage to track animals in order to hunt them you could go hunting but you only go to argue with people and interfere with their dogs and so on he said you could go to hunting but actually the reality is that that you are not able to uh, that you are only arguing with people for their dogs and ultimately you only have the ability to argue nothing else let's change the subject in case i lose my temper you are a, not a hunter at all anyway so now he is again challenging him okay that you are not at all a hunter okay because ultimately you are fighting with people so lamov are you a hunter lamov got irritated he said okay if i am not a hunter just tell me that are you a hunter you only go hunting to get in with the count and to intrigue oh my heart you are an intriguer so lamov said are you a hunter tell me that whether you are a hunter you only go hunting to get in with the count and to intrigue means you are going to hunting just to have the company of count and to intrigue intrigue means that in order to arouse someone's anxiety intrigue means to arouse someone's anxiety means there is no good reason of going to hunting in on your part you are just going to arouse his you can say curiosity oh my oh my heart you are an intriguer means he is again having that attack of palpitation to book of what i am an intriguer shut up he said he said what are you saying to me that i am an intriguer please shut up lomov intriguer to book of again they have come up to the very down level boy pup see means he is calling him as a dog lomov old rat jesus lomov everybody knows that oh my heart your late wife used to sorry shut up or i'll shoot you like a patridge what is a patridge patridge is a small bird okay most of the people they used to hunt these birds okay they are like sparrows even smaller than sparrow lomo everybody knows that told oh my heart your late wife used to beat you my feet temple marks i fall i fall so lomo is also trying to compete in that you can say fight he say i know that your wife is always beating you and finally he said oh my temples temples means that sides of the forehead okay next sparks he said i fail i fail now i'm going to fall to book off and you are under the slipper of your housekeeper me you are under the slipper means even your housekeeper is you can say dictating you okay you are under the orders of her and ultimately she the never respects you lomo there 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 my house my heart's burst my shoulders come off where is my shoulder i die a doctor now he says now my condition is really getting worse i really need a doctor so now it, the situation is getting out of control chubukov boy milk sop fool i am sick drinks water and sick now what is milk sop milk sop again it is uh it is an abusive language means it is used for a person who lacks courage who lacks courage it is used for a person who lacks courage okay so he said oh you are a milk sop natalia what sort of a hunter are you you can't even sit on a horse to her father she saying papa what's the matter with him papa look papa she screams ivan he's dead so by the time ivan uh, by the time ivan vasilvich that is lomov has fallen to the ground now natalia was otherwise passing on again a busy remark that if you are a hunter you are not able to sit on a horse and ultimately what happens that by the time he has fallen down so when he has fallen down so natalia got worried oh my god what happened to her she said no i think that he is dead so she was calling her father i am sick i can't breathe air even chubukov was not able to cope up with the situation 
he thought that of course now it is really getting worse condition it is really getting worsened and ultimately he said even i'm not able to breathe face my water now natalia he's dead he pulls lomov silence pulls lomov's sleeve sorry ivan vasilvich ivan vasilvich what have you done to me he's dead he uh, and falls into an armchair a doctor a doctor so now natalia is saying she is worrying that he is dead he is lying lying you can say unconscious and she pulls her his sleeve in order to make him come back to his senses but what happened she is saying she is dead and he falls on the armchair hysterics means unconscious lying in an unconscious condition chubakov oh what is it what's the matter so what is it what's the matter now he says what's the matter what has happened natalia he's dead dead he is chubukov who's dead so he's my word water a doctor lifts a tumbler to lomov's mouth drink this now they are afraid that their neighbor is going to be dead in their house so they were afraid so immediately chubukov has brought a glass of water and he has given it to lomov to drink they try to bring him back to senses it means he's dead and all that i'm the most unhappy of men why don't i put a bullet into my brain why haven't i cut my throat yet what am i waiting for give me a knife give me a pistol and lomo moves he seems to be coming round drink some water that's right now he chubukov thought that all this what has happened it was just because of his you can say because of him he thought that it was his you can say negligence or it is his participation in that fight that lomov is of course suffering from this kind of situation so what he said he said oh my god i am the only responsible one i must have shot myself dead i must have cut my throat with knife he said no i am responsible for all this bring me knife or bring me pistol so that i can cut myself i can bring an end to my life by the time what happened lomov moves his you can say arm and he is coming back to his senses chubukov immediately gives him a glass of water drink this oh i see stars mist where am i like in an unconscious condition he is saying oh my god where am i like forgetful condition chubukov hurry up and get married and well to the devil with you she is willing he puts lomov's hand into his daughter's she is willing and all that i give you my blessing and so on only leave me in peace now chubukov is also afraid that their fight has gone to finally a very you can say very you can say a uh, pitiable condition now they are going to fight and ultimately their fight has resulted into this kind of you can say condition in which lomov has lost his consciousness and anything could have happened he might be dead at that time so he said i want an end to all this finally what you have to do you can marry my daughter she is ready of course she is willing and even i am willing of that also lomo ah oh, what to whom lomo is in unconscious in his condition he said what are you saying to whom should i marry chupko she is willing well kiss and be damned to you he said yes you can kiss her you you are ready to marry him just show that natalia she 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 wails he's alive yes i'm willing now she's of course happy oh my god finally he's back in his senses she said yes i'm willing to get married chubukov kiss each other so lomo kiss whom lomo is again behaving as if he's out of senses very nice to excuse me what's it all about oh now i understand my heart starts i'm happy natalia stepnova he kisses her hand my foot's gone to sleep because he is still under the effect of that palpitation where he has lost control over his body so what he has said finally he said oh now i got to know yes natalia stepnova he said yes of course i'm ready he took hand of natalia and kisses her and finally he said my foot is also gone to sleep it means that he was still completely not out of that condition of you can say <laughs> that sleeplessness <laughs> so natalia yes i'm happy to finally natalia has also submitted she said yes i'm too happy now chubukov what a weight off my shoulders now he said finally 
really i have got a weight of my shoulders so but still you will admit now that guess is worse than squeeze and seen how childish natalia is still she's she's ready to uh, prove her point okay that squeezer is better she said but still you admit that okay that your guess is not better than my squeezer lomo bs better now natalia says no worse so you book well that's a way to start your family bliss have some champagne so finally in order to party in order to celebrate he said now happily ever start your life and lomov he's better lomov is saying yes of course your dog is better natalia she said no 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 mine is worse yours is better so he's trying to shout her down champagne champagne and finally there is end to their fight so finally how's the chapter how you have liked that chapter yes yes class 10 yes finally you have come to know how they had fight how kidish they were behaving and ultimately how they have come out of it okay so this is the importance of being sensible this chapter delivers us the fact that we should behave in a sensible manner while in anger we should not go to that extent that we should spit out you can say acidic words to others okay and ultimately you should not have an acidic tongue what is the meaning of having an acidic tongue is means to speak harsh words to others that pinches a lot that pricks someone's heart okay you should not behave like that and ultimately you need to repent for that and ultimately while fighting also you should yourself take care of your words and of your you can say of your words and of your feelings also because ultimately whatever you are going to say during a fight you have to repay for it okay and in this chapter you see uh, natalia that being grown up above 25 she is of course behaving in that manner like she is a child okay this is of course really un inappropriate inappropriate on her part and unappreciable on her you can say of a behavior that she is behaving in this manner okay and chubukov see how grown up he is he is an experienced man mature man still what he is doing he is completely you can say moved in this wave of fight and ultimately he has also lost his emotions he is completely you can say in competition with lomo being an eldest of all the three or okay or being elder of both lamov as well as natalia he must have played a different role in order to make the children understand that they should not fight over these matters but rather they should understand and but rather they should understand the you can say uh, the sensitivity of the situation and they should talk and come to the actual point for what reason lamov has come to their house but he was also of course as you can say competitive in fighting and ultimately what has happened that they were fighting a lot and lomo was on the verge of death okay and finally they have to see in the starting also they can submit and the fight could not have happened and in the end also they were submitting then what is the reason or what is the fun of fighting at all okay so the thing is that one should behave Uh, completely in one senses okay and this chapter it has completely see it is a farce it is comedy it is of course a satire okay on the type of behavior shown by both grown ups okay so this i want to deliver it to you that how many sometimes you can say how much abusive language is used by both of them okay so one should be quite you can say Uh, understandable of the situation that what is to be done and how is to be done and how one should behave right so this is all about this chapter so if i talk about character sketch of lomo okay so we are running out of time so just few uh, main points about lomo's character we are going to discuss so what is the character sketch of lomo what kind of person he was can you speak any point just give points can anybody yes kanishka anshika can you speak any point 
that what kind of man Lamov is? First of all, do you think that he is light-hearted? Light-hearted. Lamov was. Hmm. Lamov was. Lamov was a man with a selfish mind. Lamov is a man with selfish. How he is having a selfish mind? As he came for the proposal. So coming up for a marriage proposal is not being selfish. What else he has done to be selfish? But for the love. For. For what? But for the all the properties that were that were named after. No, we haven't read. I don't think so, Anshika. We have read in the chapter that he has come with that bent of mind that he would own to book house property. He has not come with that kind of intention. It is not nowhere in the chapter. It is written. Okay. Of course, he has come. But on the contrary, we can say Natalia and as well as Chubuka, they were greedy in nature. But Lamo, we can't say. He is light-hearted because he is not able to withstand with the pressure of you can say strong emotions. He was not able to you can say uh, catch hold of these strong you can say emotions like fighting and all that. He is losing control over his you can say body. He is. Uh, having the problem of palpitations whenever he is getting excited, okay. So he is of course light hearted. Moreover, he was shy also as he was not able to display his direct desire that he has come so well dressed up in his evening uh, clothes and he has come with the proposal. When Chubuko was, he is of course beating about the bush. He is talking about other things. He is moving round and round. And is not coming to the exact point. And on when Natalia came, he is of course not coming up to the exact point. And ultimately, it is just because of reason this reason that a fight has taken place between them for oxen meadows. Right? So many points are there. These are just two points that we have discussed today. And in the next lecture, we are going to discuss it further. Now, for this time, let me have your attendance also.